We're about to see one of the most important meetings the Albanian American Civic League has had in order to create the environment and the worldwide connections, not only in Congress, but around the world, to free Kosovo from the Serbian regime, the brutal Serbian regime headed by Slobodan Milosevic. So you now see a timeline to give you the historical context that in January 1989, I had just left Congress, and we formed the Albanian American Civic League as a registered lobby for Kosovo, initially for Kosovo and then for all Albanians. Then in March of 1989, Milosevic's Serb army brutally occupied Kosovo. And then in November, at the request of Congressman Lantos, I went to Belgrade very quietly uh, with a letter signed by him, Bob Dole, and Ben Gilman uh, in order to alert the ambassador, Warren Zimmerman, that I was there to gather facts and photos to report back to the U.S. Congress. In January 1990, Dr. Rogova asked me to join him at a meeting in Slovenia where they were having the first convention for democracy in Yugoslavia. In February, I brought a delegation of the Congressional Human Rights Caucus to Belgrade and Pristina. And then in April, Dr. Rogova and Kosovo civic leaders came to a congressional hearing in Washington and a huge dinner in New York uh, with the Calvinian community in a tri-state area. And then on May 27, 1990, and that's what this video is about, I brought Congressman Lantos, Mrs. Lantos, his chief of staff, Robert King, to the Grand Hotel in Pristina to confront firsthand Slobodan Milosevic's brutal occupation of Kosovo and to meet Dr. Rogova and Kosovo's civic and community leaders in order to prepare a strategy to raise public awareness in Europe and in the U.S. to free Kosovo.
And to remind you how strong you are as a people, there are today 38 Albanian Italian villages in Italy where they still speak Albanian first, Italian second. After 500 years, 500 years, Albanians have kept faith with their language, their culture, their spirit, spiriti, their heart, zemana, in those hill villages. here in Yugoslavia, that's what the Constitution says, equality for everyone, and that means Albanians too. So you have to say that the compassion me Zutri Rugov and the me near tier in Kosovo come to our Shqiptar Duan to Luftoan Kundur Yugoslavis for Duan to the end of the Yugoslavia. So I guess the bottom line, because I want to introduce Congressman Lantos, is that you have friends in America, and you have great leaders like Dr. Rogova here in Kosovo. And it's important that we continue to work together to help Albanians fulfill their potential as citizens of this great country. Prandaj ju keni lider për kas, si që është Kongresi Amerikan, dhe ne do të bëjmë qmos që dhe që mundësit e ti. And I leave you, at least for this little speech, with the words of Bishop Fanoli, when he said, Mojnad Moski Frike Seke Gjemet Ne Amerik. Now, let me introduce my good friend, Congressman Tom Lantos, who, from the first day that I met him in Congress, and this is now four years ago, understood the history of Kosovo, understood the history of the Albanian people, and from the very first day, I didn't have to train him about what the situation was here. He became a supporter from then and is still a big, big supporter 
of the Albanians in Kosovo. Rights caucus in Congress. Dr. Rugova, ladies and gentlemen, let me first tell you that my wife and I and my chief of staff feel very much at home here. We feel at home because we are among friends. We feel at home because we are with men and women so let me talk to you from my heart, Zemra. <laughs> there are big winds of change that are sweeping through this region. Go now. It was just a year ago now that I called in the ambassador of Czechoslovakia to my office. My wife and I met with this gentleman, Havel, released from prison. Václav Havel was in prison because he believed in the values that you believe in. And Václav Havel was released from prison. He was elected in free and open elections as the democratic president of Czechoslovakia. And it was our pleasure to welcome him to the Congress. And it was the pleasure of my wife and myself to visit him, not as a prisoner in jail, but as the president of Czechoslovakia in the palace. Two weeks ago, we had the pleasure of welcoming another former prisoner to Washington, to the Congress. This man is also a writer. He is the new democratically elected president of Hungary and his name is Arpad Gönc. Arpad Gönc. Pleasure for us. 3,000 people. The leadership of the American Albanian community and some members of Congress to receive in the United States your great writer, Dr. Rugova. We also welcomed a number of other leaders of the democratic movement, including the democratic women's movement. Mm -hmm. 
For each other, freedom, equality and democracy will be triumphant throughout this whole region. To help with this process, we have initiated the establishment of a United States Information Agency office right here in Pristina. It is the ideas that built the United States of America that will be there in thousands of books and films at our information agency with the American flag flying high. And all the people of Kosovo, young and old, and men and women will be welcome there and we will not want to see a policeman in front. <laughs> a fundamental improvement in the conditions of life for the people of Kosovo. The Albanian American community and the Albanian community elsewhere so they will invest in this beautiful region, so they will provide resources, so children will have medical clinics and dental clinics for young and old, and vocational training schools and opportunities to lift up this region to the level that you find anywhere. So let me just say two more things. My wife and I will hope to be coming. We have This beautiful part of Europe, and every time we come back, we hope and we expect not only that you will have full, full political rights, but that conditions will be visibly better. <laughs> we want you to be part of an increasingly peaceful and I have been trying to visit Albania for many, many years. As you know, the American official diplomatic relationship with Albania an end in 1939. And tomorrow, our group will be the first official United States governmental delegation invited to Tirana. Pristina last August, we go ahead. We drove down to the Albanian border, but we could not go over. Tomorrow we shall be welcome.